Okay, first thing we're going to talk about today is bromine tablets and how best to use them in a spa. This is a bromine feeder. This is the one that I recommend. This is one of the best ones that I think you can buy on the market today. The best setting on a bromine feeder is going to be to take the tablets and stack them up inside of a feeder like this. Bromine, I like to use it more to it's good to use in a spa that's not being used very often because the chemical will not build up in the spa. In most cases, stacking up the bromine just to the top of the feeder and then screwing down the cylinder and having it so that it's closed to where you just have about a half a tablet exposed to the water. With half a tablet exposed to the water, you get just, amount, just about the right amount of bromine in the system. When first putting in the bromine, what you want to do is screw this down where you got approximately half a tablet and then screwing this together tight so it doesn't unscrew while it's floating around in the spa. Here at the top you'll be able to see a gap of how much space the actual tablet's going to be exposed to the water. When you first fill up the spa, what you want to do is put in the bromine feeder and approximately one tablespoon of granulated chlorine and that will get you started. We'll get into testing and chlorine and other things on another video as we go forward. But that's how you want to use a bromine feeder. Never ever use chlorine tablets in your spa. Never take bromine tablets and just throw them in. All of these videos will be done in order to protect your spa and keep pH damage or corrosive chemicals from damaging your spa. Thank you.